Alright then, so I'd actually managed to recover from where I thought I messed that up, but I then messed it up again because I didn't remember the route properly. Figure I might as well just stack on some extra defenses onto Cyan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way down. Although that decision was partly influenced by the fact that they were, uh... It it's very easy to equip him with those two relics, rather than min-max everybody. One, two... There we go, made it that time. So going through the Phantom Forest, those ghosts tend to counter uh, both some Bushido with Blaze, and with a Healing Spring halfway through, I really don't... and the enemy's doing almost nothing generally besides that. Uh, I feel it's probably worth my time to not use shurikens either. I have Sabin target the ghosts, which are always at the bottom with his Spirit Claw for maximum damage, but... It's always hard to tell when I'm out of these battles, because everything's slow, and even though there can only be five or three enemies, generally a pain in the butt to count, try to guess, so... Alright, so, I'm heading right, all the way over to this rock. Or rather, the side of the screen in this case, there's no rock in this area. The rock comes later. In a couple places, actually. Yeah, that's the end. Otherwise, Seven would have attacked. Keep going right. Hit the edge of the screen, back to and up and get the recovery spring which also gives a nice handy ding down one to go around the lake and then up one to go around the rock see here's the rock one back two back and I'm still going down, down and into the door Did I go into the boss venue somehow? Yeah, I must have gone into the boss venue somehow. Not sure how that happened, but... I could use Mind Blow to hit the ghosts, but I don't think it's worth my time generally because... If it hits the Pothiums, it's a complete waste, and even though Science Attack doesn't kill anything, everybody misses just so often here that I don't think it's a waste of his turn. Alright, so let's go down. Now I should be through the door and I into this little alcove here. The changes to the Phantom Mit Force make it a little bit harder to get through, but it's not that much harder. Then again, it did mess me up last time, so maybe I shouldn't say that. One two, and now I go down. It's two steps back and not one. So now I go all the way to the top right, which isn't very far, admittedly. Take one step back down, and run all the way into this other rock that I actually need to use.
I figure I might as well save my shurikens for the potentially harder bits, so... And this is one of the easier segments, even though the shurikens would speed up these five enemy ba battles quite a bit. Still running right to the rock. Hopefully uh, the battle's actually ended. I'm pretty sure that's also a pincer I mean, a uh, preemptive, because otherwise Sabaton wouldn't generally be last. He'd generally be first or second. Alright, that battle's over, because otherwise Shadow would have attacked. Pretty sure it was Shadow and not Cyan. Don't really have to pay too much attention going through here, because... Here we go, Phantom Train. Second cutscene has started. Third cutscene is about to start soon. And I walk down to the door. And now this time I have to remember, right and then up, not up and then right, otherwise it's a complete disaster. Thankfully this area was not the hardest place to recover in. Alright, I think I need to take a step up. I was hoping for no encounters this segment on the Phantom Train, but I guess I'm not going to get that. So, let me try to remember. Okay, this is Shadow, so you probably want to defend just in case it's uh, over mines. This is Sabin. Don't use Orbolt because Orbolt doesn't happen. And hopefully I time Bushido correctly. It's not too hard, you just gotta wait for like a moment. Yeah, I got it. But unfortunately this isn't a double overmind battle, so it's not over. Hopefully Sabin will end this, whatever this is. Oh, what is that? Well, whatever it was, it didn't kill me. Oh, crud. I was actually just pressing A to skip through the messages afterwards because I uh, thought the battle was over. Now it really is over, but... Right, up, right, up, right... I'm pretty sure I needed to press up first there after that battle, but right and up is less likely to get me into trouble, so... So there are a couple places where I can end up here, but all, le all roads lead to Rome here, and so when I go down and right, I should end up in the same place. Down, right. Yeah, maybe hoping for no battles on the Phantom Train was a little bit silly. I've got quite a bit of distance to, tr to cover. There we go. No problems this time. Alright then. So I don't think anybody died, so... Yeah, I should be doing pretty good. 
Um, I am on the relic menu. Equip, skills, item. You know, I blindfold off. Yeah, it's safe. Oh wow, Cyan got poisoned. That's not good at all. <laughs> good thing that happened just before the save point, because now I can recover easily. I hadn't scoped out the Phantom Train too much, that's why I was hoping for not very many battles. And... Oops. Let's flick the switch, just for fun. And that's the end. See you next time. The fact that I didn't get a battle there worries me just a little bit, but... I don't know, that's not good. Should've been on the Phantom Train by now. I'm missing my boarding call here. So where could I possibly end up? This place is a maze, so... Down. Right. I'm gonna hope I'm in this little... Alright, uh, you know, maybe I'll just try this. This wasn't my original plan, but not as wishful thinking. So maybe I'm at the top left of this little uh, wooded place here. So I'll walk up, and I'm not sure where that exit takes me, seeing as it's a phantom forest going backwards might have strange results in some places. Let's go down. One back out. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to call it quits. Left one. Down. 